Okay, so we are going to continue chapter five on Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing. Remember, they lit the cake last time. It had chocolate frosting and big yellow roses. I led the singing of happy birthday. My mother carried the cake across the kitchen to the party table and set it down in front of Fudge. Sam cried, too dark, too dark. So Grandma had to turn on the kitchen lights before Fudge blew out his candles. When he was finished blowing, he reached out and grabbed a rose of, off his cake. He shoved it into his mouth. Oh, Fudge, my mother said, look what you did. But Grandma said, it's his birthday. He can do whatever he wants. So Fudge reached over and grabbed a second rose. I guess Fat Ralph couldn't stand seeing Fudge eat those yellow roses because he grabbed one too. By that time, the cake looked pretty messy. My mother, finally coming to her senses, took the cake away and sliced it up. Sounds like a good party. Each kid got a Dixie cup, a small piece of cake, and some milk. But Jenny hollered, where's my rose? Want one too? Because her slice of birthday cake didn't happen to have one. My mother explained that the roses were only dec decorations, and there weren't enough to go around. Jenny seemed to accept that, but when Grandma stood over her to help open her Dixie, Jenny bit her on the hand. She bit me, Grandma cried. Did it break the skin, my mother asked. No, I don't think so, Grandma said, checking. Good, then it's nothing to worry about, my mother, my mother told her. Grandma went into her bathroom to put some medicine on it anyway. She wasn't taking any chances. Ralph was the first one to finish his food. More, 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 he sang, holding up his empty plate. I don't think you should give him any more, I whispered to my mother. Look how fat he is now. <laughs> That's not nice. Oh, Peter, this is a party. Let him eat whatever he wants. Okay, I said. Why should I care how fat he gets? My mother served Ralph a second piece of cake. He threw up right after he finished it. Me and Grandma took the kids into the living room while my mother cleaned up the mess. Grandma told Fudge he could open his presents while his friends watched. Jenny brought him a musical jack-in-the-box. When you turn the handle around, it plays Pop Goes the Weasel. When, <clears throat> when you reach the part of the song about Pop, the top opens and funny clowns jump up. Fudge loved it. He clapped his hands and laughed and laughed. But Sam started to scream. No, no more. Take it away. He hid his face in his hands and wouldn't look up until Grandma promised to put the jack in the box in another room. Fudge opened Ralph's present next. It was a little wind-up car that ran all over the floor. I kind of liked it myself. So, so did Ralph, because he grabbed it away from Fudge and said, Mine. No, Fudge shouted, mine. When my mother heard the racket, she ran in from the kitchen. She explained to Ralph that he had he that he had bought the car to Fudge, car to give to Fudge because it was his birthday. But Ralph wouldn't listen. I guess my mother was afraid he might throw up again, and this time on the living room rug. So she begged Fudge to let Ralph play with the car for a few minutes. But Ralph kept screaming that it was his car. So Fudge started to cry. Finally, my mother took the car away and said, let's see what Sam brought you. Fudge liked that idea. He forgot about the little car as he ripped the paper and ribbon off Sam's package. It turned out to be a big picture dictionary. Uh-oh. The same kind the Arby's brought me a couple of months ago. Fudge got mad when he saw it. No, he yelled. No more book. He threw it across the room. Fudge, that's terrible, my mother said. You mustn't do that to a nice book. No book, Fudge said. Sam cried. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like my present. I want to go home. I want to go home. Grandma tried to confront Sam while my mother picked up the book. She gathered the wrapping paper and ribbons and cards together. Fudge didn't even look at any of his birthday cards. Oh, well, he can't read, so I guess it, does, it doesn't make any difference anyway. Peter, my mother said, let's start the games now. Quick. We'll find out what happens with the games next week.